Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary. I post videos every Monday and Friday. I do hauls, clothing, lifestyle, makeup, tips, tricks, and then I'm starting to get into Amazon favorites as well. So if you're interested in any of those, then make sure you subscribe to my channel and yeah. So um, today's video is actually another one of those tag videos. So I have been subscribed to Mandy Lee for a while now and she had posted this video in collaboration with Sarah Hubler and I just recently discovered her and I started following her on YouTube as well and they created this wish list tag video right now. So if you're interested in seeing what that is about, then just keep watching. As I had said, this video was created by Sarah Hubler and Mandy Lee, so I'm going to go ahead and link their channels and their videos in the um, description box down below. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So like I said, this is a wish list tag video, so it's going to be asking a bunch of questions about your wish lists and products in your wish list. So I have pretty much just two makeup related wish lists. I have a Sephora one and an Ulta one and a couple just random other ones like uh, Amazon and stuff like that. But this is mainly gonna be like makeup related. There are a few non-makeup items in this wish list tag. Wish list, wish list tag. So yeah, the first question is the oldest product in your wish list. And I'm also gonna pop up pictures of all these products as well. So, if you have been on my channel, I started this channel last year and I've gone on and off of it, but I have been into makeup for a couple years now, maybe like two-ish years, but the oldest product on my wish list is an eyeshadow product, an eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it's their Modern Renaissance palette. Now, I feel like I'm probably the only YouTube makeup person who doesn't have this palette and it's kind of surprising because ABH is like my favorite high-end eyeshadow palette formulas. I have so many of their palettes and I still can't believe that I don't have the Modern Renaissance palette, so it's kind of crazy. Um, I keep debating on if I'm going to get it or not, but I probably will eventually, but it's been on my wish list for forever. And then going on to the next question, which is the newest product in your wish list, And that is also from ABH and that is their liquid eyeliner. So I currently have several eyeliners right now that I'm trying to work through, but I like how it's like a different, like it's a liquid liner and it's not a felt pen. So I'm not exactly sure how I do with the little brush, but I would like to try it because I've seen some great reviews a lot of um, people that I follow on TikTok actually use that liner, so I want to try it out. But again, like I said, I have several eyeliners that I'm going through right now, so I don't necessarily need it. Next question is a wish list item that you keep forgetting about. So this, <laughs> I have been wanting to get this for forever. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. So Jaclyn Hill uses this all the time. Several other um, beauty gurus out there use it. And every time I see a video with it, I'm like, oh, let me go add it to my wish list. And it's already there. It's like, I keep forgetting about it. It is kind of pricey and I do have several other setting powders right now that I'm trying to work through. So I'm trying to be smart about the purchases that I make. So I don't necessarily need another setting powder. But again, it's just something that I keep forgetting about and every time I see it mentioned in a video, I go to add it to my wish list and again, it's already there. A next question is a product that you're glad you removed from your wish list. And that would be the Philosophy and it's called the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash. So I do have a list right here because if you don't know, I film on my phone, so I have to have another way to read stuff but yeah that's a philosophy micro delivery exfoliating facial wash I can't remember why I even had that on my wish list but I recently discovered Hiram um, skincare by Hiram and I am using 
another facial wash that he recommended. It's like the simple micellar gel wash. I'll go ahead and link Hiram's channel down below as well. Um, if you are trying to get into skincare, he's got great resources, super knowledgeable about skincare. But yeah, I removed that off of my wish list. Again, I don't know why it was even there, but I'm using another face wash that I am super into right now. So I'm not looking to get anything else right now. Next question is a wish list item you can't get by you mainly because of where you are, like if it's in a different country and it doesn't ship to you or something like that. Honestly, I can't think of anything. So I don't have anything for this question because I didn't want to go out and, you know, search for something just to fill this when in reality, I'm not going to get it. So like I said, there's nothing for me for this question. Um, if there's something that you can think of, leave it in the comments below. I like to look it up. But again, like I said, I tend to not really get stuff that I can't get. Simple as that. Uh, next question is a product on your wish list that you'll probably never buy. And I have several on there like due to prices because they're so expensive. But I saw this one on there and it's called the Maley's Cosmetics B Flat Firming Cream. I don't know why I had this on there. I think it's for like tightening your skin and stretch marks and stuff like that, which if you don't know, I have two babies. I have, well, I guess he's not a baby anymore. He's, my son will be two in August. And then my daughter just turned four months. So they are 18 months apart. Um, so I'm still dealing with loose skin and losing my baby weight from her. I gained like over 60 pounds with her and I gained 57 with him. After I lost all my weight with him, I got pregnant pretty much right away with her. So I'm trying not to do that again <laughs> this time. Um, but yeah, and I use the bio oil right now, which I recommend over this thing. Again, I haven't tried this thing out and I doubt I'll ever purchase it. So yeah, next question is wish list item that you'll probably buy next so and that is the Jeffree Star cosmetics cremated palette so right now it's Tuesday and he's already sold out of this palette and I believe he is restocking it on Saturday so I'm either posting this video on Friday or Monday if it's on Friday then I will be buying this on Saturday if this is on Monday then I will have hopefully already bought this palette but that is like the next thing I want is the Jeffree Star cremated palette I only have one palette from him and it's a jawbreaker palette which I absolutely love and I did do a review on that so if you're interested in looking at that review then I'll link that down below as well but yeah I don't really have anything in my collection at all like his palette and I don't typically do like smoky eyes or anything. So I definitely want to get into that in his palette. I've seen so many reviews on it and it's so beautiful. So I'm super excited about that. I definitely want to get that. Um, next thing is a wish list, wish list item you added from watching YouTube. So this is a, um, because of Hiram again, I, found him and I just recently started getting into skincare and I do have a video that I filmed about it and I will get around to uploading it eventually but yeah so he recommended this youth to the people superfood antioxidant cleanser it's like his all-time favorite cleanser it's on my Sephora wish list but it keeps on going out of stock at least the size that I want there's like a small medium and a large and like the large is like 60 something dollars the medium is like 30 and that's the one that I'm trying to get but um I don't need it right now just because I am using another cleanser that he recommended which is a lot cheaper so just because of him and how awesome he is and all the stuff he knows about skincare I immediately added that to a wish list da -da 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 -da. next question is most affordable wish list I don't know why I can't say that wish list item and that would be the essence lash essence lash princess false lash effect mascara jeez <laughs> and that is $4.99 so I currently have several mascaras again that I'm working through and like I said already I'm trying not to buy a bunch of products that I don't necessarily need 
but I have seen this video, this video, I've seen this mascara all over YouTube and several of the um, YouTubers that I follow recommend this and I'm super interested in getting it. Again, it's super cheap, really affordable. Mascara is a product that I will refuse to buy high-end um, mascaras because there's so many great drugstore mascaras. Like my favorite is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara or the, nope, not that one. Oh, I guess I'm out of it. Well, it's the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara or the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara are great drugstore mascaras. You definitely don't need to break the bank or get a high-end mascara. Um, I think drugstores are just as good, if not better, than any other high-end mascaras that I have. And then the next and the last question is your most expensive wish list. Oh my gosh, I can't see it. <laughs> most expensive wish list item. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say that. Um, wish list, wish list, wish list, wish list. See? <laughs> Anywho, most expensive wish list item, which is pretty much anything by Natasha Denona. I don't know why I have so many Natasha Denona things in my wish list when I know I will probably never get them. I mean, I like to dream that one day I will be able to get them. But the one that I really want to get is the Sunset Palette. I just think the colors in this palette are so beautiful. But it's $129. And I cannot bring myself to spend $129 on an eyeshadow palette. Like, that is ridiculous. I could spend it on much more useful things. Go out on a hot date with my husband or something along the lines of that, like $129 on an eyeshadow palette is ridiculous. I mean, if I was rolling in dough, you better believe I would drop the money on that, like that, and probably like four of the Natasha Denona palettes. But yeah, guys, um, that is the end of this tag video. If you guys try out this tag video, let me know so I can watch yours. But again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time in my next video. Thanks for watching.